don't know. Patching in. Pro microphone live. Wow, this is a completely untouched environment. down here are minimal, and there is definitely a heat source somewhere in our target zone. Hundred and twenty two meters to heat plume area. There's a hundred kilometers of water down there. It puts the trench zones back on Earth to shame. I think we're seeing some tectonic plates here. The sulfur concentration is showing that the thermal events are closer than expected. Scientific assessment, is it? Yeah. <laughs> is that the weathering of the ice? Maybe. Could be a bacteria. Grabbing samples and moving on. 20 meters to target zone. Look at how the sunlight penetrates the ice here. It must be much thinner than we thought. Caverns, cotton currents. It's almost like a male whale song. <laughs> yeah, a little presumptuous, don't you think? <laughs> Maybe. I've got some irregularities in our data here. I'm getting a radiation spike. Rosa, are you picking up on this? There's something in the video, I think, too. It's similar to what we saw after the last ice ship. That doesn't make any sense. The ice should be shielding the probe from radiation. It's not coming from above. It's coming from deeper into the target zone. Let's adjust course and depth to investigate. Bringing us down. What was that? What's our temperature down here? Get ready to expand the probe arm to get samples. <laughs> Cycle power. All right, let's run some tests. There was an abnormal shift in the velocity of the current. It's not it's reacting. Is it a remote issue? I've lost control of it. Shit. Can you play back the video? Time to process, but I'll tell you right now, not much. It seemed like it 